Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 16th to the 30th. This is the bi-monthly, okay? So we're pushing through the end of the September. I know, because we put it in a batch, okay? That's why. So that we don't, um, basically, if we don't do it now, we're never gonna do it, okay? <laughs> so that's why it is. Um, there was a song playing before we started. It was Green Light. So it was Green Light by, sorry, I was charging my phone. And might help you. It's by featuring Anjuli Leaf Leafos Alchemy Green Light. I, it looks like a soulmate kind of thing. Look at that. I don't know, but just say. Oh, uh, is it that? Oh, uh -huh. hmm. hmm. Looks like it. But green light. I don't know what that means. Anyhow, but we'll see though. Whatever it means. Okay. Here we go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 16 to the 30th. Okay, of September. We have monthlies and we have the bi monthly sort of okay? There's the latter part. What to expect, what to see, what to see, what we'll see for you guys, Aries. Here we go. Sun Moon. Ooh, here we go. Started. Eight of Wands. You probably want to travel the latter part of um, September. This is travel with purpose of spiritual growth also, because the eight is basically growth. And at the same time, it's a death rebirth process. It could be connected with a Scorpio from a distance. They want to see you. Um, this message is about okay, Cupid's arrow, fast moving energies at the same time. And what else can I feel from this? Um, uh, a shocking revelation of not about the truth. Like you know, like you message someone message you out of nowhere and it's like what? It's like I haven't even heard from this guy. You know, so that's that. Let me see the other person here. Oh, a message. You know. A message of apology, a request. This you could be putting in some sort of like request to take a vacation. You know, um, how do you call that when you're asking for a vacation at work? Because I never take vacation at work. <laughs> Just saying. So maybe you want to see someone, and you're gonna apply for some vacation hours, or they're gonna do that to you. Oh, okay. I know what that means. Um, so this is the note to the work, and this is also someone telling you that they're sorry. Um, good news, this is a good news coming and it surprises you. Or you surprise someone with this uh, good news with the Princess of Pentacles. Let me see here. Next to the Eight of Wands. You can be connecting with someone who's younger, of course. That's a younger energy. Uh, seven of Wands. Oh, okay. So from blocking, you communicate or you communicate and then you get blocked. Okay. Because this is someone who used to communicate but now it's restrictive of communication. I'm not sure what that how that goes or because it, it can go vice versa. It's just like an on and off communication also. Sometimes it's a go, sometimes you know, like you hear from them. Um, but the next time you hear from them, you were surprised because you already blocked this person or they already blocked you. Or you thought the communicate the line of communication is also not there anymore. It a pentacles, see, it's really totally at work. Someone is very focused in their career, which is gonna be the other person. They probably is a writer, because someone writes there. Or you use a certain notepad or some sort of accounting you're doing here. You could be also starting to, um, how to say this, just count your savings, whoever this person is. Because you put in the time and work and then you're trying to balance your checkbook also here. Um, you know, it's like, okay, how much money do I have before I visit this person? Or do I have enough money savings before I can see this person? This is also someone thinking of you while they're at work. Vice versa, if you're a cross watcher. Okay. Let me see here, under the seven of wands. The hermit card, definitely travel and recluse though. This is someone saying goodbye, you know, it's just like saying goodbye or someone is far and then you get surprised because you thought it was goodbye. Like either you or the other person thought it was over because this is someone seeing someone from a distance. So someone is really traveling to see. It's a visit. A surprise visit can be like, hey, you know, I'm in town, or hey, I want to see you. But you thought like it's like, because Hermit is just like, you know, you were already doing yourself over here, Virgo energy, you were trying to heal. Let me see. Oh, wow. Five Pentacles. So, you guys are probably ignoring each other right now. There's no communication. That's why, you know, the first card that is strongest is the, um, the Eight of Wands, breaking of silence. But whoever is ignoring you also, or vice versa, is because they are thinking to send a message, but by the end of the day, they didn't. 
And instead of saying, I'm sorry, someone just comes out of nowhere. They want to break the silence. Like whoever you're connecting with, they want to break the silence between the two of you because it's getting, for them, it's getting even affecting them at work. And if you've blocked someone also, they feel lonely right now. But at the same time, both people are feeling lonely. Hmm. Both people are here. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading as two people who as who has isolated isolated each other, okay, tries to communicate, okay, for the latter part of September. Thank you very much guys for watching. I will see you guys again, Aries. Bye guys.